I make it a purpose never, never to comment on certain partner videos because there's drama involved. But in this case, I had to. Now, Kanye West, we all know the boys' screws need to be tightened down. Kanye West lost his damn freaking mind again. We all know, we knew before Kanye said anything that George Bush didn't like black people. But for him to get his ass up on the stage, because I didn't see this until this morning, on the MTV Awards or whatever the hell they was, American Video, whatever, he's on some awards, and jumped up and took the microphone out the girl who just won's hand to say Beyonce had a better video. What does this do? Because we all know that people look at black people in pop as how black people act. In other words, you see a, a, a black person on television, that's how black people act. You see Jack A. Harris acting a fool, diva style, that's how black women act. You see the black guy, always a drug dealer on the movies, that's how black people act. You see the black guy, you know, always trying to grip himself, fighting between good and evil within his own mind, that's how black people act. No, black people do not act like the ones on TV. Black people do not carry themselves in a sitcom manner. Black people do not walk around acting like that. But... Kanye West can jump up on the stage and act a fool and make some of those perceptions of black people come true. Because what do rich people, what do other than black people see most of the time when they don't know black people? They see the black people in media. They see how black people act. They see the perception of how black people carry themselves. And when Kanye West jump up on the stage like this, that seals the deal for certain people that's it niggas is crazy so don't let Kanye West make everybody black look bad okay let Kanye West do in Kanye West world by himself cause he's just like Lil Wayne and any of these other guys out here who do their little videos and singing and shit get some notoriety and think they can say anything they want to say. You never saw Michael and Jackson and Prince doing that shit, did you? No. You didn't even see Ice Cube doing that shit. You didn't see Nat King Cole, any of those old souls doing that shit. As popular as black people get, the more ignorance comes out because it fuels their popularity. In other words, I'm a bigger nigger than him. Watch me act niggerish. Watch me get the opportunity to be a nigger and not a man. Because a man has restraints. A man can sit there, oh, wow, I think uh, Beyonce should have won this award. But how many uh, country stars, how many rock and rollers didn't jump up and say, you know, somebody from their genre should have won that that category. How come? How come nobody else? How come nobody else from the country world jumped up when Beyonce won her award for best whatever and say, "Hey, wait a minute, no, no." Opportunist. What is an opportunist? And what is disrespectful? What is elegant? What is elegance? what is righteous and what is wrong what Kanye West did on that stage was wrong but because he was a music producer turned artist he was small became big he was big before he made a name for himself he's already a, ma a major producer so now in front of the microphone in front of the cameras the man has lost his damn mind we all feel for the loss of his mother last season, the last year. But, come on. He wasn't grieving when he jumped up on the stage like some wild person. If it wasn't Kanye West, he probably would have been knocked out or tackled or tasered or, or something by security. He wouldn't do that shit at the NBA Finals, would he? 
He won't run out on the court at the basketball game and say, hey, LeBron should have got fouled. He's not going out like that. But he takes the time to jump up in front of somebody who just won an award, shut them off before they can say thank you to say somebody else should have won. Is that getting in too deep? Or is he the one on dope? What's going down? But whatever he is, the problem with Kanye West, apparently those in the in the public believe he's rich enough and famous enough to get help. Just like Anna Nicole Smith. Just like Michael Jackson. Just like John Belushi. Just like my favorite girl over there overseas, I forgot her name. She used to sing with the beehive hair, dude, that girl, just like her. I mean, all these people who pop out of the woodworks and clearly got something, you know, askew with them, then, um, you know, you just can't blame the person that flipped out. You have to blame the people around him who put him in position to think he was powerful enough to do what he did. Because he did what he did. And apparently he got away with it. To young Taylor, girl, you're going to be up there millions and millions of times getting awards and everything. To Kanye West, let other people shine. Just because you're a little tarnished. You can get your glimmer somewhere else without having to do it fantastically on somebody else's dime. And as far as Chris Crocker goes, oh well, I did the video Chris Crocker's Black Lover uh, exposed in church, but um, I didn't get many hits from it. But Chris didn't say he didn't like it, but Chris also didn't say he did. So for those of you out there who know who the real AIX is, this is for those who don't. I can only speak from my perspective. And in this case, I come to one conclusion. Mr. Kanye Weston lost his mind. And Mr. Chris Crocker, come on. People ain't gonna yell and bitch about anybody saying anything about anything happening to Kanye West because of his outbursts and his actions. So as far as anybody mad at Kanye are going to crucify him because he's black. Because Kanye's black. They're going to come down on him because he's black. Ain't nobody black backing Kanye and doing anything ignorant, dumb, and or stupid. Black people don't scream black for nothing and now it brings me to my clothes you see everybody sometimes in life we need attention the attention that we crave for is like air it's like being underwater with Jacques Cousteau and Jacques says you know you forgot to bring your air and you need that air so you're going to look at Jacques like, man, please, let me get some of your air. But, you know, like I said, attention is like air for those who need it. They suffocate without it. They, they can't breathe and die without that, that, that attention. And some people don't know how to go about getting attention positively. Kanye West is a pretty good artist. He's a damn good writer. Kanye West needs attention and for people like that fame is not just the addiction but the medium the reason and the cause of some of these great people's problems some of their downfalls until next time you've been tubed Chris Crocker and Kanye West too and that girl from England with the beehive. And Jim Belushi. And Anna Nicole Smith. Oh well. Michael Jackson too. Everybody's been tuned today. 
Oh, yeah. 